Newspaper editors, quite naturally, carry a lot of responsibility. Deciding what's news and where it's going to go in the paper is a major undertaking. And with 40,000 readers, you've got to remember to remain objective. Their day begins around 4 in the morning. They review the day's news coming off the wire services via computer terminals and decide what stories to put in the paper. They then select photos to augment certain events. Since the editors are working with both time and space deadlines, they have from six to eight copy editors assisting in rewriting the copy, laying headlines and blocking out the pages. For Pacific News, journalists either write stories from scratch or edit someone else's stories to fit available space. Every writer, including myself when I'm working as a journalist, um, tends to assume things. You don't realize that when you're writing a story, there's things that you know that the audience doesn't. And so the copy editor's prime job is to look for those things, find them, they're what we call holes in a story, and to get back with the um, writer and have that hole filled in. Usually involves a certain amount of rewriting. After the stories are edited and the page is blocked out on paper, meaning where the individual stories and photos will be on the page, the editor goes to a machine called a paginator. Here they electronically map out the page, laying the stories, headlines, and photo captions on the screen. They use a speed ball, which lets them place the elements anywhere they want. Once that's completed, the page gets printed by computer on light-sensitive paper that gets developed in much the same way as photographs. After this gets trimmed to size, any photos going on the page are put in place. Now, base and unit newspapers are done a little differently. News stories from the public affairs offices are input into the computer manually. After it's printed out in the proper format, the pages are literally cut and pasted together. This entire process is repeated for each page of the paper, and from there, they go on to have negatives made. Up to this point, you've seen the basics for one paper. Tomorrow at this time, we'll show you how to make 40,000 copies just like it. For the Far East Network in Tokyo, Japan, I'm Air Force Sergeant J.D. Harrington.